So once everyone um, gets down, as does uh, Victor would say. All right. Uh, so um, not really sure how much of the conversation you heard Ugh. from outside there. I expect uh, Pixie might have been listening, or uh, maybe you went. Right, did you uh, did you wander off again? Who do you think you for? Of well, uh, well, yeah, I know I should just probably expand that by default, but, you know, got to ask. Who was that out that room? She's filthy. Victor just looks around the floor with, well, this room, all the shattered plates and taxidermy stuff, and just goes, hey, yeah, you, you don't say pics. Right. Uh, yeah, so nothing there. Just some... Magic components, I think, something like that. Behind the door and then close. Nothing interesting. Some books, but I don't even know what language. Hmm. Why? All sounds like uh, a fairly int well. I don't know. Maybe might be information that comes in useful later, but uh, for the time being, uh, so. We tried to, uh, we tried to, uh, use, to trade the book back to Bavlora in order to, uh, you know, get the stuff of the Scarecrow and, uh, uh, the depressed guy that we met earlier on. Yeah, unfortunately, as we probably thought, uh, she didn't buy it. Uh, didn't reckon that, uh, trading her property for her property, in her opinion, was a good deal. So, uh, she's, uh... Got a couple of tasks from her. Uh, mate confirmed beforehand that we'll get uh, at least uh, Scarecrow's ad and the uh, that guy's heart upon completion of him. Uh, so she basically wants us to, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, pointing to the pool here. Uh, apparently this is some sort of purification pool for exfoliating uh, Bavlova's skin or I don't know, some such. Apparently it's not working properly. And also we need to go down to Downfall in order to get uh, a Pikachu. And if we do both of those jobs, uh, she'll give us the stuff that we want. Uh, honestly, not really sure that we got sort of many other leads right now. So I suppose, uh, yeah. What do you? What are you guys feeling? So, something's wrong with this thing. Oh, apparently oh. so. Um. Yeah, apparently. Uh. Oh god. What? Gotta be honest. Uh. If, like I. Gotta be honest. Bavlo isn't really what I pictured her being like. It. I was just sort of following her around. Where it was kind of hard to concentrate on exactly what she was saying, <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, she basically, uh, said something about her skin not being as glamorous. Yeah, I, I don't really know about that personally. But, uh, apparently there's something not quite right with it. She didn't really go into any detail. I'm guessing it might be a plumbing issue. No, I, I don't know, I'm not a plumber. In fact, uh, do they even have plumbers in the Fey Realms? Didn't really think to ask. I mean, we did find another one of these type of wells before. Oh, uh, um, yeah, just near Jingle Jangle's place, yeah? Yeah. So, maybe they have plumbers? Oh, I guess so. I mean, there's also the uh, the packaging downfall. I mean, I suppose it depends on... Um, I mean, obviously, it would have to backtrack a little bit. I mean, then again, and downfall is only a hop, skip, and a jump for me, so I suppose it just depends on... Uh, I think we have to complete both tasks before we can return to Bavlora anyway, so I suppose it's neither here or there. What order we do them in? Going to yeah. fly over top that well and see if I can look down into it. A second, I didn't quite hear that name. Uh, Pixie is flying over the well and trying to look directly down into it, seeing if she can see anything. In it. Roll me your perception. Do another roll in today. Well, 
There's definitely water there. <laughs> there is water. Maybe they just use our soap. I just jump inside. You know, actually, come come to think of it, have any of us any like particularly good with magic? I mean, maybe it might not be a you know like a physical issue. Maybe there might be a, I don't know has some sort of magic properties or whatever. Uh, do you want to roll me Arcana? I suppose Victor will, since he just broached the idea. A helping. Oh. Or having a look myself, if I can. Uh, should I do that with advantage, sorry? Yeah, uh, um... go ahead then. Okay. That's that's it. It. Doesn't seem to be anything magical about the pool, to be honest. But you do notice it does seem to be a little bit acidic. Um, acidic to the point where it's hurting Victor, or just it feels, just, a, it bit feels a bit tingly. A bit tingly. Right. Okay. So Victor will just sort of. I'm guessing he will step into the pool, like pulling up his shorts. Like, oh, 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 all right. Um, <laughs> I don't really know how best to describe this uh, a lot, but getting a little bit of it, uh, a tingle. Uh, well. I suppose I'm not hanging that low. I was going to say a tingle with my dingle, but uh, yeah, just a tingle with my legs. I'm trying to find out exactly how deep the water is now. I can't find it. Yeah, I swear it's <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> uh, to, uh, to kind of see if that joke applies. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, Victor will just basically say, you know. I'll say it's a foot of water. Uh, Victor is like three, three foot tall, so yeah. <laughs> So yeah, maybe maybe it is kind of a bit deep for him. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, so basically he's just going to say, Oh my, I think I might know the problem here. Maybe, uh, maybe their pool just needs some uh, fresh water. I mean, I'm not quite sure uh, water's supposed to tingle. Can't really say there's anything magical about it. <laughs> I'm hardly an expert, as you know. But uh, yeah, that's probably the most uh, obvious problem. Uh, hey, Bix. Um, I noticed, uh, early on you are looking at that, uh, mirror over there when you got that at. Um, uh, notice anything unusual about it? Sorry. Um, no, no. Just a mirror. I thought maybe there was, but no. All right, uh... I heard, uh being pointed towards it, Pixie is going to have another closer look at the mirror. See if she sees anything about it. Any okay. signs, for example, carved into the frame or anything? Are you looking at it physically? Are you, which particular type of role are you wanting to make? <laughs> Uh, I would prefer the Arcana, but actually, I think she's just investigating it. <laughs> Girl, investigation then. It's... Keep getting distracted by the uh, sight of the hat on your head. Oh, wait. <sighs> yeah. uh, uh, so, anything unusual about that? Maybe pick. Oh, okay, looks like she's just. Uh... A mile no ads again, all right. And Pixie is, will continue to, to do so until asked by <laughs> someone else. So. All right, well, I suppose I'll just leave you to that for a moment, Pix. Uh, you know, not that I'm really expecting very much, but I suppose I might as well uh, have a look at this lily pad here, see if there's anything even remotely unusual about it. Probably just a lily pad, but... Ah, uh, you never know. I'm still trying to find out exactly what the problem this pool is. Um, I suppose Vix is just going to generally investigate the lily pads just to... Actually, no, I think he's probably going to do another Arcana or just to see if there's anything magical about it, just because of the whole mention of magical components. It's kind of got his mind on that at the moment. Go ahead, then. I'm trying to... Oh, there we go. Oh, God's sake. <laughs> Right, there is a lily pad. Right, um, okay, gang, I can say with absolute confidence that this is a lily pad. 
Right. Um... You can say for certain there is absolutely nothing magical about it. Uh, actually, another question. Like, what does the actual sort of what? Like, I mean, obviously, I can see the water, but does is it like a film of uh, like moss or anything like that? Not like, moss, but um, best way I can think to describe is a little bit of a greasy texture to the surface. On like like a film, sort of on the water. Yeah. You mean? Yeah. And um, how about the actual sort of like the rim of the pool? Is there any, like any material on that, or is that just um, sort of? Or is that it just seems one? more bunched around the center. You can notice it more clearly there. Okay. So. So like. So you said that when Victor stepped into water, it was acidic, but with it kind of having like the film on top, like if Victor, like, is it also like a bit greasy as well, the water? Yeah, all right. Let's say yes. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, Victor just kind of looks to the others and just says, yeah, I think it's as I said before, the water probably... Shouldn't be acidic, and, uh, shouldn't really be like this. You know, wondering if, like, uh, simplest uh, explanation is the right one here. Let's, uh, maybe we just, uh, I don't know, get something to purify the water. Or, I don't know, see if we can somehow get this all cleaned. Oh, sure, what's your thoughts, gang? I thought maybe it's just dirty. So oh. Maybe it just needs some cleaning. But then again, in this pool, there are three things. The mirror, the well, and the lily pads. So I actually... Could also be one of the three. I mean, I suppose it depends on the type of water that's being fed up from, from the well. Maybe that might just be dirty. So, with that being the case, maybe it'd be worth... Well... I don't know. There was like uh, when we were approaching the hut. What's I? What's I, big man? Is your task to travel down the well? Uh well, I can't really say I'm keen on the idea, but I reckon that if the water's actually that actually epic, so uh, does the water kind of look uh, dirty inside the well too? Did you move over towards Pix and like touch her? Um, um, Victor was just shouting, just seeing that you were hovering over the well, he was just shouting to you. Uh, she's still busy looking at the mirror, sorry, she won't notice you unless... Oh, right, you okay, sorry, your token was, was over there while on my screen, so I just assumed that you'd move there. Okay, uh, in that case, uh, Victor will just... No, sorry, uh, uh, I forgot to move towards, move the token to the mirror. Oh, no, it's fine. In that case, uh, Victor will just sort of, like, sort of, like trudge over to the center of the well and look himself then if no one's next to it so um victor will kind of just like tippy toe back into the water i suppose he might be submerging his whole leg and um he's gonna look down the well he's basically looking to see whether like the water looks as like greasy and unclean as it does in the actual pool um investigation are you keeping Popping your head into the water of the well, or are you keeping it above it? And so, it, so like you do investigation, yes. Um, well, I mean, I suppose Victor's just wanting to see, like, if he can like actually see the film of the water, like in the pool. I don't suppose he put his head into it. Like, he just basically wants to get close enough to see whether the in the water coming from the well is as dirty. So, yeah, investigation. Oh, decent. As you look down, there is a. Film across the water of the actual well itself. As you look down, you start to see the water about 10 foot down changes. It looks. It's a more of a shade of blue. Right, in okay. A perfect uh, spherical circle. Does it look like it's being blocked by something, this blue water? 
Possibly. Um, I'm guessing that the investigation check isn't good enough to discern if that might be the case. I'd say not a 16, that'd be a fair conclusion. It does seem to be blocked. All right, uh, Victor is just going to say to the party then, Right, okay, so might not be as simple as we first... Well, actually, I don't know. It suppose it depends on your opinion. So, it looks like the water inside the well itself isn't clean, but what's curious, actually, is uh, if you look a little... If you look about 10 feet down there, there's some... Uh, looks like there's some blue water. Maybe that might be uh, the stuff that Bavlova's wanting, but it looks like it's blocked by something. Uh, as I say, not really a plumber, so... Kind of the extent of my expertise, so... Not really sure how we're going to go about, uh... Unblocking blocked. that. Blocked by what? Uh... Not really sure if I can tell, to be honest, big man. How, how deep was it? Uh, about ten feet down. Um, so it's... Yeah, if you just kind of uh, come over here, big man, you can probably just about see it. I grab my glaive, which is also ten feet, and try to... Push it down, you know, maybe unblock something. Okie dokie. As you start to push it down and start to reach in, just to get an extra little bit to come in to get past that 10 feet mark, you feel the glaive come in contact with something. Given you already know what you're looking for, it'll be where the... it turns blue. You poke. And you're getting resistance. Do you poke harder? I will poke harder. Okie dokie. You poke harder, and then the water around the well starts to move and gush suddenly. <laughs> what do you do? Um, I remove the glaive. Victor will sort of just, like, run back, just not wanting to get drenched by the acidic water, potentially. The water continues to gush suddenly, and something starts to slowly slide out of this the well, going up and up and up and up. Uh, A clear blue cylinder that suddenly forms a cube and plunks itself beside the well. Everyone roll initiative. <laughs> Hello there, friend. Uh, big man, we need to have a talk about you and your plumbing. Does Pixie need to roll with disadvantage, considering Yes, she's so yes, because <laughs> it's still in my make you Oh, come on. Oh, good lord. Oh, no, seven. <laughs> oh, god, I'm actually... It's actually decent Dang, roll. that would have been a nice one. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh. so, right. You're not supposed to roll well, what's this? I'm not ready. I'm just busy swishing my feet in the water, having a good time. I can help. This thing did terribly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've got to try and remember how to add things now. Um, Burmy, what's I? I always forget how to do this. It's it's okay. It, it doesn't. Combat doesn't happen very I'm, often. I mean, would you be ready for a fight if you just got dragged out of your home? No, 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 that's a fair dude, point, yeah. Dude, probably sleeping. He's chilling. Um, how do I add to advance? GM layer. Ah, that's turn. There we go. I need to play more often. <laughs> we really do, but um, it's, it's this little thing called scheduling. Sometimes it makes things difficult. Uh, Pixie got a 12, so put you there. Okie dokie. So, Vicky Swicky Schwartz, what are you doing? Oh, right. Um, right, I was thought that Pixie would die. She was disadvantaged. Right, so uh, Vicky Tricky Schwartz um, is just um, looking at the gelatinous cube. Does it seem overtly hostile? I know we rolled initiative, but does it seem hostile to Vicky? Actually, that is a point. Um, the Glaive, what was your damage dice for it? A D10? Let me check. Yeah, D10. Right. Um, hmm. Well, just roll the D10. 
And then also with the modifier or without? Uh, without. Give me the action, make an attack. D10. Seven. Okey-dokey. It is wobbling side to side quite rapidly. Right, okay, yeah, I think sort of um, that would elicit um, response from Victor. Okay, so he's just going to look towards uh, the cube. He's going to see that uh, Big Man might be in a little bit of trouble. And um, I think he's actually going to go for a cast of Distant Whispers. Okay, dokie. Uh, do you need me to put what that does in? Uh, uh, yes, please. Yeah, because I don't think I've used this before. So, wisdom save. Do, 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 do. Uh, so, it needs to be a 13. It's being whispered. Um. Okay, so I think Victor just go. So, do, don't you... Don't you don't don't you jiggle and wiggle at me. Uh. <laughs> well, it's probably the thing that he could. It's probably the first thing that came to his head. To be fair, Pete. The old jiggle wiggler. You know, I'm tempted to give myself advantage for that one. <laughs> <laughs> sort of made it sound sinister as well. So, three d six psychic damage. Uh, I'm casting this at level one, so I don't think it's specified. No worries. It wibbles and seems to want to move away from you. Shouldn't yeah. be able to move as far as its speed. Okay, so that is not much, but it wibbles as far away as it can whilst wibbling violently towards you still. And Victor just as a uh, reaction is going, yeah, that's what I thought. And uh, I suppose you'll understand now. And Nico, it is your turn. Um, looking at the party, I'm gonna. Are are we are we attacking this? Ah, uh, well, I mean, it don't look friendly. A uh, shiny man, so. Uh, All right. And I swing with Megalave. Uh, doo -doo. You hit. Ooh. Oh, five damage. <laughs> uh, bits of one of its corners slops off at that, hitting the water and dissolving. And that's all. Yeah, that's all for me. Okie dokie. Pixie. Pixie is going to use the rapier that she carries to swipe in and slice at it. So moving towards it and then slicing this way. I think this might be the first time Pixie's attacked something. Yep. <laughs> no, she has attempted once before. We'll see if she manages ah, this yeah. time. She did throw her knife at uh, Agron Longstaff. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, fair. You are right, yeah. <laughs> that hits. Hmm. So of your thin little rapier, you... Charge towards it and poke it straight inside. Somehow, it hits it in a way that suddenly part of it sort of pushes away from the rapier inside of it, making a hole, and it wibbles at you. Just pulling the rapier out, huh? like shaking it off. <laughs> okay, okay. Turn over. Miko. Bonus action to, to shake the clip off. 
I just consider it your interaction, sorry. <laughs> Alright. So I'll stop swishing my feet in the water and jump to my feet. Um I'll go ahead and do the classic. Eldritch blast. Give it a good old Eldritch blast. You actually do hit. This finger's terrible, AC. <laughs> just for save. Your blast takes off another one of its corners that simply splatters across uh, on the far walls. Any follow up? No. Okie dokie. Sergio. I make my way over to it. And we'll hit it with my quarters. Roll to attack. That's the... It, roll your damage. Yeah. <laughs> um, I might as well not even be saying to roll attack because you can Just so like Only what... Only a seven What damage do you do, basically? Uh, it's one-handed. So okay. eight. Um, I will make a bonus action unarmed attack as well. Okie dokie. Uh, a nine, that... It does hit. It's okay. Four or five. Okie dokie. You... When I punch it, how does it feel? It is like punching through jelly, and you grab a handful of it and rip it out. Ew. And it quivers before it starts to melt away in your hand. Now, it's the cube's turn, finally. It is going to move five feet forward. Pixie and Sergio, give me a dex throw. Dex save, sorry. I should be good at those, I hope. Okie dokie, you both save. So, you can choose to be pushed back five feet or to slide inside the cube. You can choose to slide inside? What a choice. Choose. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So, choose to be void or not? <laughs> don't, don't put it like that. <laughs> I'm so surprised you know what that is. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not quite sure why I know that. <laughs> The internet oh. is a cruel place. The, the, the internet yeah. is... Um, <laughs> it's definitely a thing. Okie dokie. Well, that was my best move I could have made. Never mind. That's the end of its turn. So, Victor. Alright, so... Um, You're definitely a bard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Victor um, will probably... Um, just trying to think here. I think he's going to pull out his uh, crossbow, actually. Um, okay. Can that be done as an interaction, actually? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I think... I'm going to assume that the target's big enough that you can take a shot without... He's 10 foot high, so yes. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Okay, he's going to take her shots. I'm, well, I mean, that will hit because it I think a 7 hit. Or 9. Okay, your bolt goes in, tearing a large hole through it, before stopping inside and starting to sizzle a little bit. Did it? Did it appear to react to to the hair? Just considering it did, is, yes. Yeah, okay. it is not looking great. Right. Okay. So I think um, Victor's just going to just shall we shout to him? All right. I think we got it on the ropes. Uh, let's just. Uh, a little bit more, yeah? And with that, he ends his turn. Okie dokie, Nico. I will try to flank this thing. And I take a hit. Attack, attack. 
11. It hits. For a whopping 12 damage. Okie dokie. You carve off a large chunk of its back and it simply falls away in the water. At this point, it's effectively taken up half the amount of space that it was previously and it looks like it's barely holding together. Well then, I uh, look at Pixie and Sergio on the other side of the cube. Time to finish it off. And I end my turn. Just to make sure, a rapier is a one-handed weapon, right? Yes, it yes. is. So I can hold a rapier in one hand and a dagger in the other. Yep. Good. <laughs> you sure it is, anyway? Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure it is. Um, I'm not seeing anything against it. I'm not seeing a note that it is two-handed. So, um, going to use the rapier again for first strike. It'd be amazing if you miss, so roll to attack. Yeah. Really sound like you were tempting I mean... fate just before she rolled there. <laughs> I don't even oh, need to know the damage or <laughs> so, uh, Not sure I need to know the damage, but roll it anyway. How do you do this? Eight. Um, since she didn't really like it, she's just gonna swirl it around like um, <laughs> since the rapier is, is kind of a sharp weapon, she'll just like a kid swirling through their jelly. <laughs> <laughs> in that kind of sense just not down but upright so, so she'll just make a swirly motion with the rapier going through the thing slashing somewhere you do that and it ends up completely losing its mass and collapsing into a puddle of swirly mess that dissolves leaving behind a handful of bones a handful of coins. That's about it. Hmm. I grab the coins and start divvying them up. Roll me. 3d6, 2d4. Okay. Well, was for two separate amounts, but oh. uh, the three d six, so that is six silver and seven gold. Is that each side? Nope. Two. That's, That's how many coins were there. Five. So I'm gonna have to calculate how much that is for everybody. <clears throat> I'm going to leap down into the water. Come investigate this thing dissolving away. What, what was that? Um, well, not really sure how to explain it myself, uh, Miko, but I believe um, it was um, it was a blockage, is what it was. <laughs> you glance over towards the well. Uh, there is water flowing from the well into the pool, and it seems to be completely clear, the water. Hi, well, will you look at that? Uh, looks like uh, we'll be... Uh, maybe we could... Uh, uh, you know, I was going to suggest we go and do odd jobs uh, around the place, but I suppose in a matter of speaking, we're already doing that. So, yeah, I suppose just keep doing what we're doing. Um, um, as the clean water is flowing into the, um, so into the pool, does it appear to be... Like, is it sort of cleaning the water, or I'm just kind of gauging whether, like, if it is, yes. There are some slits along the pool that were a bit higher than the water level, but the water level has risen slightly now, and it seems like the dirty water is being, is being drained out. away. Okay. Yes. Ah. Huh. How about around um, like the slime itself? Like, is that being drained away as well because of the water? Yes. Yeah. Pixie would like to pick up the bones. You find two beamers and 
A couple of ribs. They are humanoid bones, but I'm going to say beyond that, you're not going to have a clue to what they belong. Pocketing them for now. Hmm. So. Mm -hmm. Task one done. Ah, uh, you know what? Uh, can't only say I've done many, well, any plumbing jobs in my time, but, you know, I'd say that's a job well done right there. Well done. It's a good one. Oh, does that mean we have the first thing? Well, I mean, unfortunately, Bavlora did say that we need to complete both tasks before we get anything. So, uh, I suppose, back to downfall now. Need to go to, uh, said the Southern Bank. How did you guys get into this room? Ah, oh, which like room? Uh, sorry, which room are you uh, talking about their picks? There's a hatch over here. Where was that hatch? I forgot. Oh. Sorry, I can't do her voice today. <laughs> it's okay. It's alright. Ah, you know, come to think of it, I don't think I actually went into there. Oh, wait, no, that's the way we came in, isn't it? Ah, right. I got, gotta say, like, sometimes it feels like my memory's going a little bit. I suppose it might have been uh, maybe in that water for a bit too long. I don't reckon I remember anything particularly interesting. Oh, uh, sorry, Pix? Time to get a move on, everyone. Well, I mean, no. I, that's what I was fucking. I do have a question before we move on. Um, What shall we do with this mannequin that is uh, tied up? Oh, it yeah. It's against the floor. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that, admittedly. Uh guess we can just untie it and well, that's it. The floor I mean, already knows that we're here. Well, I mean, ain't so much... Uh, uh, the only thing I'm thinking, and it got me a little bit paranoid here, it has kind of been here while we've been talking about a bunch of different stuff. I'm just hoping that if we let it go, it just won't and go and uh, blab to Bavlara. About what? Uh, I don't know. It's, I'm just trying to remember what we're actually talking about on on this floor that I suppose that would be sensitive. Uh... That we know her weakness? That's what they talked about, about, but that's only yeah, in that's our amazing. advantage. Exchanges for the package. You want to carry a big guy? Do we need to carry it? I'm not. I don't know what the risk is if we just untie it and let it do what it's going to do. Uh, I mean, it's as Pick says. If it heard us talking about Bavlova's weakness and it reports that back to her, would that not be an issue for us later? Hmm. I mean, to, to be fair, big man, I'm not the key decision maker. Like, if you reckon there's no risk, uh, can't really say that I'm going to stop you. I mean, sort of like, uh, kind of like, you know, sort of like trying to, you know, like, um, like curl his muscles to show that he's not really got any. Yeah, I, like, big man, if you really want to do something, I can't exactly stop you, so... You know what? Uh, I'll let you make the call this time. If you, if you want on time, go ahead. But, uh, but yeah, so I think in any case we need to get a move on. No, if no one is against it, then I will untie the mannequin. As you untie it, it effectively does a flip away from you, and then it scatters, scampers, and makes its way towards the stairs, and disappears up them. Here going funk 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 funk. Yeah, you know we probably want to get a move on, because you know you might get a little bit cagey and wonder what we're doing down here. Kind of surprised that the ruckus we made just fighting that that jelly thing didn't alert anyone. I suppose 
I suppose mm. it got good sound insulation. I'm not sure. Mm. I believe this rope was yours, Miko. Ah, uh, well, mine actually. Ah, then I return it to Victor. All right, thank you kindly. All right. Well, I suppose we should get going then. Victor is going to open the hatch and uh, start heading down there. Okay, okay.